Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I have a grocery haul and meal plan video with you as well as a refrigerator and pantry restock and organization. Um, I already fil filmed the um, grocery haul portion of this video and I've already included the meal plan. So now we are going to get everything put away. Um, don't mind my hat, beanie, hair situation. Um, I'm on day eight of my hair. Um, it's been eight days since I washed it. It's been eight days since I curled it. Things are not great, but I haven't had time to rewash it and I had to film this video and there is snow on the ground outside. So the beanie is actually kind of appropriate, but that's why I'm sparing you my terrible hair. And also I realized the first two videos on my channel, my hair is up in a bun. <laughs> so we had to kind of like do something different. Okay, let's get into all of this pantry refrigerator organization because this is what I'm working with currently. Send help. Send help. Hi friends, I wanted to share the meal plan with you so that in the grocery haul when I'm talking about specific meals, you know which ones I'm talking about. Sunday is Italian wedding soup. Monday is tomato and cheese tortellini soup. Tuesday is date night in, which is steak sandwiches and smashed potatoes. Wednesday is marry me chicken with mushroom risotto. Thursday is hibachi steak. Friday is black pepper chicken. Saturday is movie night, which is going to be mac and cheese per my kids request. So that's it for the meal plan. Hey, starting with our Kroger stuff, baby arugula for the steak sandwiches grapes that we've already gotten into, um, vanilla extract, and then lots of teas. So we have my favorite honey lavender tea. I got a breathe deep um, respiratory support tea for Sean and a throat comfort tea for Sean. Our favorite deodorant is the native cucumber and mint. We have the orzo pasta, portobello mushrooms, um, fig bars, the strawberry ones. As you can see, my kids are, have already been in there. Um, they love these organic snack crackers. Chicken bone broth for um, Sean's soup. Those are actually empty containers. I already used them. Whole organic milk. Um, creamy horseradish sauce for the steak sandwiches, which the steak sandwiches are going to be for date night in for us that we do once a week, and we usually choose a dessert. Um, so, key lime pie this week. Don't mind my nails, they are trash. Um, cage free thin sliced chicken. Okay, I have a story time here. So, three containers of vanilla bean Nusa yogurt. This is our favorite yogurt. I'll tell you the story in a second. Strawberry lemonade kombucha for Sean, organic pineapple juice for Sean for his cough, um, heavy whipping cream and sweet cream coffee creamer for my tea lattes. That's everything from Kroger. Now moving into Aldi, we have pepper jack sliced cheese and provolone, um, prosciutto provolone and breadstick snack packs for me for lunches. Um, lunch meat for Sean, pasture-raised eggs, cheeses for meals, um, Irish butter, strawberry kefir for the kids, uh, and yogurt mania. So we have Sean's favorite yogurt that he likes for parfaits, and then we have protein yogurt, berry protein yogurt, and then, so my kids, Anson is going through a major growth spurt right now, and at nap time and bedtime, I've been giving him reusable pouches of yogurt, and I do 50-50 plain Greek and 50-50 whole milk vanilla. Um, so that there's not as much sugar and he's getting, they're getting a little bit more protein. So we've been going through four containers of each every week. So that's eight containers of yogurt every week. And yesterday when my order was fulfilled, it said that the quantity of the vanilla yogurts was changed from the four that I ordered to one. So when I placed my Kroger order, I ordered three more containers of vanilla yogurt so that we would have enough. Turns out I got all four. So now I have 11 containers of yogurt in my house. Yeah, love that for me. Um, cheese tortellini for that tomato and tortellini soup. Feta cheese, um, mozzarella string cheese for the kids and I, and habanero jack snacking cheese for Sean. That's his favorite. Three things of blueberries, and we'll run out before I get groceries again. 10 bananas, a container of kiwis, three bags of these Cosmic Crisp apples. Those are our favorites currently. Um, this is a bag of kale. I used half last night in the soup. These are raspberry oranges. They look like blood oranges. I'm wondering if they just rebranded the name um, to not say blood oranges anymore. Um, kombucha for me. Mini cucumbers. Um, heirloom tomatoes. Bell peppers for the um, black pepper chicken. Carrots for soup. Onions. 
chia seeds. The kids and I are going to do a science experiment for homeschool with one bag of these. And then we just needed another bag for yogurt. Um, the tomato basil soup for that cheese tortellini and tomato soup. Garlic, tomato paste, condensed milk, baking soda, Ziploc bags, beef stock and chicken stock. Apple, cinnamon, applesauce pouches for the kids and vanilla granola bars for the kids. And then pretzel sticks and veggie straws for the kids. Baguettes, I actually ordered three and we already ate one in one day. Um, and then ciabatta rolls, these are for the steak sandwiches. Non for the kids pizza for movie night and then flatbreads for our flatbread on movie night. And then this is like the Valentine's Day stuff that I grabbed. These are for Sean and I. Um, they're little caramel milk chocolate bars. I got these for the kids. They're little strawberry heart-shaped shortbread cookies. I get this for Sean every year for Valentine's Day, so. Very happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> um, I got a Valentine's Day book for the kids. I actually ordered two, but they only gave us one and they can share with that one, it's fine. Um, and then we are a big fan of these books for homeschool. Um, so they have some new ones right now. So I grabbed the handwriting one for Anson and eventually Ivory to use. Um, and then also this farm bingo, we have a dinosaur version of this and Anson really likes it. So I grabbed that. So that is everything. Um, the chicken will be for the black pepper chicken as well as the Mary Me chicken. I have a little bit of chicken left in the fridge. So that will serve us both meals. Um, mushrooms will go in that Mary Me chicken and probably some on the steak sandwiches and some in another meal. Um, so that's for meals. This is a meal. Um, we keep, we actually purchased a quarter of a cow a few months ago. So all of the beef we already have downstairs in the freezer. So that is everything I got. So now let's put it all away. about egg containers I got this one it's like uh, an egg tray in a container I hate it I hate it um, the eggs are too small for the holes and so they just wobble around I just don't don't like it so here oh, I hate how big this is like it's gigantic takes up so much space I just I don't love it so I'm going to put my eggs in this container I love my fire cider being up there um, if you don't know what fire cider is um, it is basically a cure-all for any type of like respiratory illness or cold or flu or any of that. Um, and I just don't love it being up there, I don't think. But it's also the only place it fits, so. So I try to wipe down the fridge like this every other or every couple times that I get groceries because it's kind of important and it gets really gross really fast.
Normally I only store one container of milk in my fridge, but because I have 87 containers of yogurt right now, I don't have room in the mini fridge for two containers of milk. So two are going in here. Hi, my name is Victoria and I'm a kombucha addict, specifically ginger kombucha. But it's not just me, my husband and my kids are too, so. Hey friends, that's it. I am done. Um, if you can hear that thumping, that would be one of my children. Um, let me know if you want a dedicated pantry tour. I would be happy to do that for you and show you the way I organize things and let you know where all of the, a lot of the bins are from. Um, so yeah, let me know if you'd like that. But for now, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos. Bye friends.